Oh. God damn. Do I have I think I have some buff out. Tales of the Texas Rangers starring Joel McRae as Ranger Chase Pierce. Oh. Texas more than 260. I'm gonna make you free. The oldest law enforcement body in North America. Okay. Is Cook Cook dead? I get him? Where are you going? How are you, George? What can I do for you? Get him. Uh, how's that? Fuck him up. Us. Fuck him up, Veronica. Gotcha. Head. Flamer and Flamer Fuel. Oh, jeez. The sheriff raced out to the Hawks Ranch and found George Hawks dead, hanging in the barn. Then he made another That's... discovery which prompted him to put in a call to the Texas Rangers. Ranger Jace Pearson was You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yep. That works. Down here for nothing, Jace, but this works mighty fishy to me. So I want you to take a look at the body. Hasn't been taken down yet? No, I put in a call to the coroner, but he was out somewhere. I left a message for him to come out here as soon as they could locate him. How'd you find out about the body, Sheriff? I wasn't even going for Cook Cook. Jace, about 9.15. Said it was George Hawks, and he was going to kill himself. I thought maybe it was some joker, so I traced the call. And it came from here, all right. So All right. I drove out fast as I could, but George was dead. Hanging by the neck from the barn. No pulse. Fuck that Body's dude. Still warm. Sheriff, I know you didn't call me down here to investigate a routine suicide. What's the catch? Well, I'm getting away. Mm. Come on the barn. This is just the way he was when I found him. You notice that's a wire he's hanging from, not a rope. Mm. Cut off the clothesline. Huh? How do you know? Guess. I saw the clothesline have been cut, part of a dragon on the ground in the yard. <laughs> Come on! You know, there's this much doing this thing to help it, Sheriff. Well, I want to show you something else. Look at this. Right in the back. Right. In the exact position I found it in. On its side. Now you'll notice, Jace, that it's the only thing near enough to get to the body. Stood on the straw before this 
end of the drum. Thick with dust. Now look at the other end. Dusty too. Trace is a small footprint on either end of the That's two. What about fingerprints? What is it spelled to you, Jace? Just one word and an unpleasant one. Murder. I'll take that. Random brain. Give me that, give me that, ooh, give me that hunting rifle, and three things of psycho, and your head. Ugh. Human flesh. Ugh. Okay, uh, god damn it. So. so he said what? 
Well, it's a lie, Ranger. What did he say, Mrs. Hart? Well, old Tom said to Brad, I wouldn't be drunk if you didn't buy any of the stuff. You're always trying to get me out of the way so I won't see you. So I won't see you playing up to the boss's wife. Then what happened? Well, Tom left. My husband started swearing and threatening Brad, accusing him of what Tom said. Brad said it was a Okay, grab that. In his face and told him to get off the place that he was fired too. What did Brad do? I thought for a minute he was going to... Well, I got some good news for you, my dude. He went out. I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list. Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You've made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. Think you can take down another one of these scumbags? Yep. Up to you. But I can trust you to do the job, and I'd hate to see you walk away. Actually, I have another head here. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. All right, I'll go after driver nephew. You've got some guts. I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of Alpha Team, first recon, snipers. If you're lucky, you can lure Nephi into the open, and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nephi one-on-one, -on -one, but it's your call. Uh... Out in the yard. Gorobetz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nephi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Got it. Just bring me back that last head. And don't lose your own. Right. Why didn't you stop when I told you to? Well, to tell the truth, Ranger, I didn't hear you. I'm kind of deaf. I heard you shot, though. Well, that's okay. right, Jace. He's hard of hearing. What's that, Sheriff? Oh, never mind. Let's Why go shoot at us, Tom? hit that last you? son of a bitch. Why, I never did no such thing. What were you doing then? Ain't no law against a man killing himself a rabbit for supper. All right. Get his rifle, Sheriff. Let's go. Uh, where to? To your shack first. We're going to have a long talk about George Hawk. Okay, I don't need their help. After this, I'll probably go see if I can hit up the gun runners. What call would I have to kill him? If he was killed, he was my friend. You don't seem very clear about what happened this morning, Tom. Well, I, I was a bit foggy. I had me a couple of nips. But I do remember George getting mad and firing me. What happened after that? Well, I took a few more out of the bottle in my saddlebag. I don't remember much after that. I must have rode up here and fell asleep. Woke up a while ago. I was hungry and I went out to get me a rabbit. Tell me, Tom. You often draw a blank when you've been drinking? Do, do I what, Ranger? Have a blank. Do things you don't remember anything about. Oh, I suppose I have to Wait a minute. I didn't do it. I couldn't have killed George. He was my friend. Oh, got him. Get him. <laughs> oh, give me that. You are listening to Tales of the Texas Rangers, starring Joel McRae as Ranger Jake Pearson at our new Sunday time. We hope that our nope. many friends who have listened to us at the earlier hour will continue to be with us each Sunday. And for those of you who are hearing our program for the first time, we extend a warm and cordial welcome and invite you to be with us each Sunday from now on. And now we continue with tonight's case, Hanging by a Thread, an authentic story from the files of the Texas Rangers. No. Oh. Finger was pointing straight at Tom. He got back.
back to the Hawks Ranch, there was a man in the back lot feeding the hogs. It was Brad Johnson, the third witness at the breakfast fight. While the sheriff took Tom into town, I got Brad's version of what happened. And then he threw the money in my face, Ranger. Thirty dollars. Told me I was fired. I wanted to hit him, but I didn't. Then what, Brad? Well, then I got my duffel bag, threw it in my car, and drove off. Where'd you go? To Finney. Drove around town for a few minutes, and then I went to the white spot. There we go. Had a I just... What time was this? When I was I, my apologies if I'm a bit quiet. I'm just kind of enjoying walking around New Vegas. Well, I guess you could say feeling the vibes. The coroner was on his way out here. So? Well, I figured if it was true, there wouldn't be anybody to do the hmm. Charles. He fired old Tom, too. And Mrs. Hawks always treated me so friendly. I wish I'd come out to do what I could. Oh, very nice of you. Tell me, Brad, is there anything between you and Mrs. Hawks? No, sir. It's a lie, right? Never even spoke to each other except at meal times or say good morning. What are you planning to do now? Mm. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. Let Mrs. Hawks see if she can get somebody else. Well, I gotta be moving along. So, uh, let me count. Well, I won't, Ranger. I'll be around. Got him. All good, quieter, not still watching. Well, I appreciate that. I just, I, I apologize because generally you're supposed to, you know, be a bit more, you know, exciting and out there and, you know, big boom bombastic. And at the same time, though, that is, if y'all haven't picked up, uh, that's not exactly my my ammo well, my apologies I'll keep in touch with you. All right, geez. Good luck. Oh. it's gonna need more than luck things were really getting tangled up it was about 4 a.m. when I finally dozed off trying to dope it out then at 8 30 oh. I met the sheriff in his office well you look like you've been through the ring Jace. hotel beds too hard for you no but I didn't get much sleep trying to figure this horse thing out Looks like we have to let old Tom go, Sheriff. Why? What's up? The lab says Tom's cutters didn't cut that wire. They didn't? No. Of course, old Tom could have used other cutters, but in his stupor, I doubt if he'd be that clever. Uh, well, I hate to complicate things more than they are, Jason. What do you mean? Carna called a little while ago. He sent in his report over with one of my deputies. Should have been here by now. His verdict is suicide. Suicide? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Well, apparently does to him. We'll know when the report gets here. Yeah. George Hawk, deceased. Climbed up a stepladder, put a wire around his neck, and then placed the ladder neatly under are. a workbench 12 feet away. Mm, my dusty oil drum storing things up, please. Huh? Considerable. Hello, Sheriff. Mm. Howdy, Ranger. All right. Good morning, Joe. Did you get it? Yep. I had to wait while the car on the side. Hey. Oh, no, no. Ah. Ah, go get the ladder. You like the sight of your own Oh, there we go. There it is, Jace. I'm gonna make you free. <laughs> oh, nice laugh. What is it? No. Hey. At nine fifteen. Great suffering. Are you sure it was George who called? Well, now that you mention it, I'm not sure. Say he was George. Could it have been somebody I'm else? I'm gonna make you Who's scream. To to piece together, Whoever it was could have killed Found George, then called you and tried to sound like you. To establish an alibi. Exactly. For the brotherhood. Someplace else a few minutes later. Like the white To the back of the skull. <laughs> Cartwheels for everybody. Johnson was running water into the 
big trough near the barn. I want to talk to Mrs. Hawks. We're releasing Tom. Coroner's report came in a few minutes ago. Suicide. Is she around? Why, sure, she's up the house. Okay. Oh, I... I just happened to think. Charcoal, my horse here in the trailer, hasn't had a square meal since I left headquarters yesterday. Shit. Is some hay around that I could give him? Why, sure, Angel. Some fresh bales just inside the barn there helps, uh... Thanks. Uh, no, no, forget it. Not sure Mrs. Hawks hey, level up. Have you got something to open one with? Why, sure. Here. Here's my fetish. I took the cutters into the barn and made some cuts on a wire sample. After I gave the cutters back to Brad and fed charcoal, I spoke briefly with Mrs. Hawks, and then I tore out for the lab in Austin. By one o'clock, I got the results. Here it is, Jace. Take a look. Wires match, Johnny? See for yourself. That Buell microscope never lied to me yet. If the left one's the murder wire, the one on the right is one of the samples you brought in. All right, what do we got? Here and now. Oh. Thanks, Johnny. Another level. Get back to Finney pronto. Oh. Will you do me a mysterious favor? stranger, nerd rage. Tell him I'm on my way and I got something hot. I'll be there in two hours. <laughs> Finesse. Well, Jace, you sure made good time. What'd you find out? We got positive proof the murder wire was cut with Brad Johnson's cutters. Brad's? You gonna pick him up? Not right yet, Sheriff. Why not? Hmm. We know that Brad's cutters were used. We don't know he used them. We got to be sure. What are your plans, Jace? I've been thinking. Those stories that Mr. What are we thinking? Brad told me. They were alike, all right. Too much alike. What do you mean? A couple of times they used the exact phrases. Mm -hmm. What about Tom and the black thread? We'll keep an eye on him, but uh, he could have caught his sleeve on that beam doing anything, pitching hay or anything. Yeah, he could have. Well, uh, what do we do now? We gotta catch him alone. Brad and Mrs. Hawks. When they don't what know do anybody's we... around, we got to hear what Honestly, they say to each other. Honestly, misfortune. Maybe after the funeral. It's this afternoon, four o'clock. All right. Being held, Sheriff. Sure, out of the ranch. He's not gonna be happy, like the happiest with me, but. Over on the other side of town from the horse place. Hey, reach 10th level. Sheriff, while they're at the cemetery, you and I are going to the ranch and fix up a little surprise. Man, I know I'll be all right for that one behind the window shade. <laughs> Why three microphones? Jace, wouldn't one do? Not if they wander around the house while they're talking, Sheriff. I want to hear everything. Yeah, hey. Still working on that last bounty? If that's true, that'd be the last of them. That's supposed to be driver Nafai? Well, the head's in really bad shape, so I can't authorize the full reward. And if he really is dead, we're all better off. I guess we can send First Recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. Can you bring them down alone? Hey. Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. No problem. There go the last of them, Sheriff. Did you see Brad? He's been in the barn the last few minutes. Mm. Oh, I was about to. Hey. to the house. Good. Put on your earphones, Sheriff. Mm. I want you to hear this, too. There he goes up on the porch. Yeah. I'm Bitter Root, first recon. You got a reason to talk to me? All right. Goodbye. All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll got him clear off the trail and I go let him get back on. Yeah? All right, Sheriff. I've heard enough. All right. Take him. You cover the back, Sheriff. I'll take the front. Okay, dude. 
Let's actually go from there. He's not here. I know different. Okay, Sheriff, let's search the house. I don't know what this is all about. We'll find out. All right, Sheriff, work this way. I want to check out uh, gun runners, actually. He's not in the back of the house, Jace. Maybe he's. What was that? He was upstairs, Sheriff. Sounds like he jumped from up there. Come on. All right. See him. He didn't run with his car. Couldn't have gone far. Maybe he hit for the highway. That's What's that? Chickens in the barn. Something scared him, and I think I know what. Come on. Let's just pay this. All right. Where are the gun runners? I know you're in there, Brad. Come on out. Yeah. All right. Just over here. Pitch in there, Jace. Probably hit up free side. Take the other side. I'll look behind those steps. Okay. Bad? Don't think so. My shoulder. Here, give me a flashlight, Sheriff. All right, Brad. Oh, I think it's uh, right out. over here. I remember it being like a little. There it is. Come on, where we can see you then. With your hands up. Jace, he's jumping. Oh. Jace, you all right? Yeah. Hello. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Yes. No. I am ready to process our transaction. But I can't say he won't be, though, when the state gets through with him. Ooh. Anti-material rifle. Oh, wow. After Mildred Hawks turned state's witness, Brad Johnson confessed to the murder of his employer. For her ammo, time, what is it, 50? Of 50 years in a women's prison at Huntsville. Ooh. Sentence, death in the electric Hulk gauge, air. dragon's breath, full slug. Oof. You got a lot of stuff I want. Goodbye. Come back and see us again soon. While most of the mail that comes to us here at I will save here. is written by grown-ups. The youngsters have their questions, too. Tonight, I'd like to read you a postcard from a boy in Newark, New Jersey. It says, Dear Mr. McCray, I, I am nine years old. And I think, uh, I forget how many caps I need to actually get onto the strip. Hey, what up? First, a ranger hey. has to serve at least ten years as an outstanding like that? Then he may I'm just gonna let job. go ahead. If he's selected, he works on Where are you going? For at least six months. Whoa, then he's put I'm out of with other seasoned rangers. That's what you get. Anyone else want to play fuck around find out? Cards being sent to Colonel Homer Garrison Jr., chief of the Texas Rangers. Good luck. You know what? No, give me give me all your stuff. That's what you get. Next week Joel McCray in another authentic reenactment of a case from the files of the Texas Rangers. What's up? Well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hit up the strip, actually, because I realize I'll have the. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, Free people. Only at Mick and Rush. On NBC. We're into Freeside. Start off the evening with Baby Snook. Here, Fibber McGee and Molly of 79 Wistful Vista listen as Art Lakeland approves that people are funny and laugh with Bob Hope and his gang. 
It's truly fine entertainment every Tuesday night. So be sure to listen. And I believe we just had to head straight. Yep. And Bob Hope. The National Broadcasting Company presents Joel McRae in Tales hey. of the Texas Rangers. What? Tonight, transcribed from Hollywood, another authentic reenactment of a case from the files of the Texas Rangers. What'd you get? Tales of the Texas Rangers, starring Joel McRae as Ranger Jace Pearson. Uh, who is that? Some asshole who tried to attack uh, Veronica. Uh, who's kitted out like that? So, as you can guess, not the fucking. S really? You know what? Oh, she your girlfriend? No, my companion. Is that it? Okay, welcome to the strip. No, you love him? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Uh... Nice correction there, Miguel. Robert Coots, a new hand on the Triangle Ranch, is repairing a fence on the southeast range. He stops his arrival and approaches him. Oh, boy. Aha. I'm hit. Come on. Howdy, me, Coots. Can I see you finally got my chance? That's what I'm talking about, Veronica. There was one open. If you left it open, that's your worry, I reckon, not mine. You've been making up to the old man, trying to get me fired ever since you came into this country. That ain't so, and you know it. I've been looking for work, yeah. But you didn't get fired on my account. You got sacked because you can't leave a bottle alone. Teach you to Sounds mess like you're calling me a liar. I ain't That's calling you me. I'm just telling you. And how about clearing off? You telling me to clear off this range? Okay, I'm gonna save here. But before I do, I'm gonna whip your Hello. You better not try it, Rick, you ain't about to. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. I'll, sum I'll submit to the credit check. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. Thank you. Okay, it was only 2000 Hello. Enter the strip. That's it. Keep moving. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Thank you. This place looks amazing. Where do I start? The place to get started is Lucky 38. See that big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner? That's where you find Mr. House, New Vegas' head honcho. And he's itching to make your acquaintance. Bonk. Hey. Hey, Serena. Don't you dawdle, little doggy. Mr. House isn't someone you want to go about snubbing. He'll be waiting. How'd your uh, how'd your stream go? I saw you were working on some stuff. Going to have words with your commanding officer after this. Why are they calling it a monorail? It's a train. A train. Have half a mind to throw you all in the cell and let you sweat it off. All right, let's uh, head to Gamora first, because we are going to get, there is one particular thing I'm going to do. Hey, no one but Omertas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Okay. You'll get these back on your way out. With both barrels, Jace, once through the stomach, once through the head. On the ground when the second charge hit him, though. All right, cool. Some of the shot clipped the grass. Yeah. Uh, killer's horse stopped here, too. Looks like. All right, let's get some chips. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? I there we go. The sheriff and I backtracked on the approach the killer had used. 
used to get to the Triangle Ranch owned by Galt, but we came to a dead end. Well, Chase, guess this as far as we go. Can't follow my pavement. I'm just waiting until all my... Word out from town, that's too bad. I was hoping he'd come from a ranch someplace. Would have narrowed us down to one spot. Not much we can do now, except we can go around examining shotguns. Well, one other thing first. A couple of deep tracks in that ditch off the road. Must have had rain here recently. Yeah, day before yesterday. That's why he left such a clear print there yesterday then. I want to get a kit from my radio car and drive back here. Okay. Take a couple of photographs of that print. Make a plaster impression of it. Help us to identify Fuck the horse. Home. If we Must be cozy it. up there in the lucky 38. We took the cast and hit them. I'll stop for the sheriff's horse. Nope. Oh. Okay, that's that. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. Have some drinks. Talk to some dancers. But you are done at my tables. Okay. That. Yeah, I am banned. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? In what? Have a good time. So I walked in here with four thousand. Uh, I'm walking out of here with 14,000. He wants gunplay, he can have it. I don't know. He answers the door. All right, Brack, open up. We know you're in there, Brack. Now come on. Now there's the tops there. We can wait out here for you, Brack. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had Oh, no, no, no. I didn't make bank. I am just starting to make bank. Because I've still got the tops to deal with. But I can't go to the tops yet. But we've got uh, the Ultra Lux. Also, they gave me this combat armor. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Pleasure speaking to you. Yes. No problem. Where's your casino? Humbly at your service. Here's your. Goodbye. I'm about to rob you blind. Where the fuck's your casino? It's hotel room. We have to cover two miles to his one, Jace. Every time we lose hey. the trail, he gains ground. Yeah. Can't be helped. Hmm. We get to the top of this ridge, and it's maybe the wrong one again. Like our the last guys put the monorail tried. back to work. Door to the gourmand. That's the restaurant, I believe. Okay. Here's the casino. Oh. 
I'm an idiot. I thought these were like food tables. This will be another day and night of this without a wink and no guarantee we're catching a bat. He may go any direction to make us cross and get married. Folks tried to keep her away when the news went out. There it is. You have been banned from gambling at this casino. This simply will not do. You must leave immediately. Fine. You're still welcome to dine with us, of course. We've just had quite enough of paying you to play our games. It'd be better if you didn't. All right, no problem. Understandable. <laughs> Humbly at your service. I'd like to turn in my chips. Caps. Sixteen thousand caps. All right, now how the hell do I get out of here? Five o'clock this morning when he came home. He was killed last night around dinner time. Where were you then? On the road, I reckon. I've been up to Big D for the last five, six days. Did you drive back? I didn't have nothing to drive back in. I hitched rides. Come back, same way I went. You got here at 5 a.m.? When did you leave Dallas? Oh, no. it's the afternoon, I guess, about 2 o'clock. Why? Why are you asking me this? You're supposed to be finding out who killed Frank. Now, don't get steaming, Jeff. Ranger's got a reason for asking. You didn't touch anything in the house when you got in? Ranger, first thing I saw was my brother laying there on the kitchen floor. Then I hightailed back to the high one called the sheriff. Waited right there till he come picking up. Okay. Your brother been having trouble with anybody? You know of any reason why anybody might want to kill him? Uh, no. Nothing there. All right, here we go. Okay. Go ahead. Just All right, let's get out of here. Got something come to mind, Sheriff. But, uh, couldn't be him. Couldn't be who? Come on, Jeff. Your brother's laying dead in there. We got to know every little thing, no matter how small. Well, all right. Just before I left, Frank did have a little argument. With I was going to say, Veronica, what are you doing? So, after two casinos, I'm sitting on 30,000 caps. I can't quite go to the tops yet. I know it don't. Probably just a misunderstanding and straighten out. Because that's, why I told you what that's where I... When it comes to murder, anything is worth mentioning. <laughs> and this My cousin and his wife are a best... Sheriff, we better ask Uncle Joe to account for his movements. A very big uh, thing happens. I've been standing around outside the house ever since we got here. Look, I'd like to go back to Marge now. She needs somebody. All right. Data. Tell Bell to come in here, will you? All right. Send her right in. Oh, uh, just a second. Actually, yeah, I want to go to yeah. Gun Runners. You must be pretty tired. Cuz I have Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Yes. I am ready to process our transaction. Driver? Woman. No. Okay. Oh, I talk to a driver much. I slept most of the time. Frank what was do I w It's literally like sleeping rider beside them on What do I want? Well, I, uh, this fellow let me sleep on the shelf. Up in the back of the cab. Oh, I see. Hmm. All right. Send Bell in. Bozar? What the hell is that? Gehenna. Yeah. Esther. Oh. What stuff about sleeping on the ship? Hunting revolver. I never slept in that suit he's wearing. It's too well pressed. So he changed clothes when he got home this morning. He said he ran to call you the minute he saw you. Two step ride. goodbye. Yes, Bell. Come in. Sleepy time. Oh, that's sad. Bell, you and your grandfather, Uncle Joe, you live on this farm? Hmm. Just the two of you? Yes, sir. Where was your grandfather last night? I could get a forty four Magnum. We don't never come up to. Was he home all night? Where was he at dinner time? He was drowning. Only time he left was for a few minutes to pre He didn't need the house at all. Hmm. Not at no time. He didn't need the house at all. Bill, you're lying. No, sir, no, I'm not. 
Look, Bill, you started to say something, then you backed away from it. Bill, if you want to help us and your grandfather, you better talk up. Hmm. With all this going on, why isn't your grandpa around? Why'd he run off? He didn't run off. He went to the church to pray for Mr. Frank. He loved Mr. Frank. Hmm. He would never hurt him. I don't know. I'll have to think on it. Come back. But he probably ran off someplace. We'll find out about that later if he isn't at the church. Let's go. Okay, I will save here.